Hi everyone! In today's video, we're going to take a look at word problems with dividing fractions. So let's take a look at this word problem. We can see it's quite long too. So it says Eugenio invited six of his closest friends over to his pool at two in the afternoon. He wanted to invite more people but was not allowed because of COVID-19. Five six of his friends like lemonade more than iced tea. Eugenio's parents gave him plastic cups to serve out drinks. Each cup can hold 1 14th of a gallon of lemonade. At the start, the pitcher had a gallon of lemonade, but Eugenio accidentally spilled 1 7th of a gallon. Half of his friends tried to help Eugenio clean the mess, and Eugenio now has 6 7 of a gallon of lemonade left. How many cups of lemonade can Eugenio make? So we can see in this problem, there's lots of different numbers here that we can choose from to help us solve this question. We see the number six, two, 19, five, six, one fourteenth, one over seven, one half, and six over seven. So now it's our job to figure out, well, what is really happening in this word, word problem? And what are the key information pieces that we need? And what do we not need? So in order for us to solve a word problem, it would really help if we understood all of the events that are taking place in this word problem. So first it says that Eugenio is inviting six of his closest friends over to his pool at two in the afternoon. He wanted to invite more people, but he was not allowed because of COVID-19. The next sentence here says, five, six of his friends like lemonade more than iced tea. So this just means that if we have six friends and five, six of his friends like lemonade more than iced tea, that means this one friend over here is the one that likes iced tea and the five of these friends just like lemonade. The next sentence is telling us that Eugenio's parents gave him plastic cups to serve out the drinks. And then it tells us that each cup can hold one fourteenth of a gallon of lemonade. At the start, the pitcher had a gallon of lemonade but Eugenio accidentally spilled one seventh. And then it says one half of his friends tried to help Eugenio clean the mess. Well, one half of his friends, if he invited six of them, well, that just means that three of his friends are willing to help. And now Eugenio has six sevenths of a gallon left of lemonade. And now we wanna know how many cups of lemonade can Eugenio make? So a key thing to helping us figure out how to solve our word problem is to look at the question that's being asked. How many cups of lemonade can Eugenio make? So that means the information that's going to be relevant to help us solve this problem has to do with the number of cups of lemonade. So if we look at the first sentence here where it says Eugenio invited six of his closest friends over to this pool at two, are these numbers of six and two really relevant? Well, are they helping us know how many cups of lemonade that Eugenio is gonna make? Well, two o'clock is certainly not gonna help us. And he's inviting six of his friends, but it doesn't mean that he's only gonna give six cups. So that's also going to be irrelevant to this problem. And we also hear, see another number here of 19, and well, that's just COVID-19. So that number is also not relevant to helping us solve this problem. So now again, if we look at the second sentence that we have that's in blue here, it says five, six of his friends like lemonade more than iced tea. Well, is this helping us figure out how many cups of lemonade Eugenio is gonna make? Well, I mean, maybe we could think that the person who doesn't like lemonade is not gonna drink it, but that part of the problem doesn't say that either. So this five, six is just also irrelevant. It just tells us that some people like iced tea, but it's not telling us how many cups he's gonna make. And then the next sentence just tells us that Eugenio's parents gave him plastic cups to serve out the drinks. And then now it says each cup can hold 1 14th of a gallon of lemonade. Well, that's gonna be some important information since our problem is asking us how many cups. So this 1 14th is probably going to be very useful. Then it says at the start, the pitcher had a gallon of lemonade, but Eugenio spilled 1 7th of a gallon. So that could possibly be um, relevant information because that's how much was spilled. So that would kind of help us know how much is in the pitcher. So let's circle that one for now. Then the next sentence here says half of his friends tried to help Eugenio clean the mess. Well, is that helping us figure out how many cups of lemonade Eugenio is going to make? Well, no, it's just telling us that half of his friends are nice enough to help him. 
And then the next sentence here says, Eugenio now has six-sevenths of a gallon of lemonade left. So we know that in the story, he spilled some lemonade. So that means that this six-seventh of the here that we see here is what he has left, which then tells us we don't actually really need this one-seventh to help us solve the problem. So now we can see here are two important numbers that we've now circled. So remember with division, division is finding how many times something fits into something else. So we want to ask ourselves, are we trying to see how many pitchers fit into a cup? So how many of the pitcher goes into one cup? Or do we want to know how many cups fit into a pitcher? So since we want to know how many cups of lemonade Eugenio is going to make, we're going to see how many of these are going to fit into our pitcher of lemonade. So this tells us that our division sentence that we want from this is going to be six sevenths divided by one fourteenth, since we want to figure out how much this can fit into this. All right, so we've now done this first step here of crossing out the irrelevant information and circling our key fractions in our problem. So we've done that here. And then we wrote out our division problem, which is right here. So the next thing on our list is to draw our model to show the division and to use our model to answer the problem. So here we've got two fractions that we want to divide. So that means that we want to look for the lowest common multiple that 7 and 14 have, because we want to find the lowest common denominator, which tells us that we're going to have to draw a model that has 14 parts, because the lowest common denominator of 7 and 14 is going to be um, 14. So we have our models with 14 pieces, and now we can show what 6 seventh looks like which means we're going to go, this is 1 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 7, and then we have 1 14, so here it is. So there's our model, and now how we're going to use our model is that we need to figure out how many of these pieces fit into here. So that's just one piece, so here it fits into it 1 time, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 times. So our 1 14th fits into our 6 17th 12 times. So our answer for this is going to be now 12, and we've used our model to help us. The last part of this says to write a sentence to answer the problem. So if we look in our question, it says, how many cups of lemonade can you hen you make? So that's going to help us build our sentence to answer the problem. Eugenio can make 12 cups of lemonade. And there we have it. So when we're solving our word problems, it's really helpful for us to do all of these steps to help us. We want to cross out irrelevant information and circle the key factors fractions that we're going to use in our problem. We want to write out the division problem. We want to use our model to show our division problem and to use it to help us get our answer. And then we want to write a sentence to actually answer the problem. So those are our steps that we're going to use to help us solve our word problems.